Conditions of this um, include an elevated temperature, unstable blood pressure, profuse sweating, dyspnea, muscle rigidity, and also incontinence. Our phenothiazines, our prototype is chlorpromazine or um, thorazine. Its mechanism of action is to block positive symptoms of schizophrenia and is primarily used for severe mental illness. In addition, adverse effects can include acute dystonia, akesthesia, Parkinsonism, tardive dyskinesia, anticholinergic effects, sedation, hypotension, sexual dysfunction, and neuroleptic malignant syndrome. With the non-phenothiazines, the prototype drug is haloperidol or haldol. Its mechanism of action is blocking of the dopamine type 2 receptor. Again, it's primarily indicated for severe mental illness. And again, its adverse effects are going to um, be comparable to those of phenothiazines. With our atypical antipsychotics, our prototype drug um, is risperidol. Um, and again, the mechanism of action of this is to block the dopamine type 2 receptors. And um, this includes serotonin and the alpha adrenergic receptors. It's primarily used for severe mental illness, and it treats both the positive and the negative symptoms. Adverse effects, they are uh, fewer than those of phenothiazines and also the non-phenothiazines, but um, obesity and its risk factors um, need to be monitored as well. With um, our dopamine system stabilizers, this is our newest antipsychotic class. Um, an example of this is aripirprazole, which is Abilify. This controls both positive and negative symptoms. Serious adverse effects, though, compared to other antipsychotic uh, anti drugs is low. With regard to our conventional or typical antipsychotic agents, the phenothiazines will bind, um, or their action will block the positive symptoms. And examples of these include melaryl, compazine, and permatil. Uh, with the non-phenothiazines, their action is the same as that of phenothiazines. And these include such things as loxetan and also navane. With our atypical antipsychotics, these are used to treat both the positive and the negative system, symptoms, and there's a less dramatic side effect, but it still remains significant. Examples of this include Seroquel, Risperdal, and also Zyprexa. In terms of drug therapy for psychosis, again, we want to look at assessment, monitoring the individual's condition, obtaining their health assessment, uh, determining their past medical uh, mental illness history, and obtaining information on smoking as well as the use of illegal drugs, alcohol, and caffeine. Um, in addition, we need to ascertain their current medications and dietary habits, obtaining baseline blood and urine samples, and also including the family in terms of their knowledge of psychoses and the medication regimen. With planning, our goal is to um, see to it that the individual remains compliant with the medication regimen and free of symptoms. Again, implementation involves encouraging compliance with the medication regimen and also to provide additional education as needed. With evaluation, um, the goal would be for the client to remain free of symptoms related to their psychoses and again that the client is able to verbalize the importance of taking the prescribed medication.